Preparation before installation. The assembly parts of the wireless temperature measurement solution include RMP and monitoring device, gateway, power module, terminal card holder ATC500 transceiver. Now we proceed to the uplink wiring part of RMP and monitoring device. First, let us connect the power supply. Ports 1 and 2 are the incoming and outgoing wires of the power supply. Connect the corresponding positive and negative poles respectively. Insert the terminal into the meter. Now let's connect the RS485 communication line. Starting from the gateway, port 21 is connected to port A here. Port 22 is connected to port B. After completion, insert the terminal into the meter. Then insert the ATC500 transceiver. Now let's explain the downlink wiring of RMP and monitoring device. The voltage and current incoming wires, 40, 39, 38, 37, corresponding to ports A, B, C, and then respectively. Connect UA, UB, UC, neutral wire, and then respectively connect the incoming and outgoing wires of IA, IB, and IC. Put the cover back on when you're done. Now let us explain 
how to install the gateway. This is the power module of the gateway. This is the AUT100 Wi-Fi gateway. Insert the pins into the slot and use the rear facing plate to connect the power module and the gateway together. This is the power port of the power module, which is connected to the 220 volt power supply. This is the RS485 communication port of the gateway. 21 and 22 are connected to the RMPN. This is the upper port of the gateway power module, which provides AC to 120 volt power supply. It shares the same power supply with Arden PN. This is the RS485 port connected to the corresponding port of Arden PN. Now we turn on the power. These are wireless temperature sensors, A100 and A200, A400. Let us take A200 as an example for binding. Take out the corresponding sensor. There is a four-digit hexadecimal code on the sensor sticker. This is the unique identification of the sensor. We need to bind encoding information to Arden P and monitoring device. Now let's turn on the power of the sensor. The switch position is on on the left, and it is currently off. Turn the switch to the left, and the indicator light will flash green when it is turned on. Next, we turn on the other two sensors separately. Now let's bind the sensor information. Enter the main interface, select debugging. Enter the password 1008. After entering, select temperature settings, and enter the corresponding code of the sensor.
After the binding is complete, we choose to return and click save. After re-entering, the status change from no to yes. Finally, we can see the value corresponding to the temperature sensor. Next, let's prepare for debugging. Upload RTMP and data to the platform. We need to connect the 21 and 22 ports through the RS485 to USB interface cable. Now we connect the two ports separately. After the connection is complete, insert the terminal into the energy meter. Plug the USB port into the computer. This completes the entire installation.